Sir Anthony Van Dyke, a true genius of portraiture, and pupil of Peter Paul Rubens. He revealed the aspirations of his sitters, he often flatteringly elongated his subjects and portrayed them sharply from below to enhance their stature with elaborate settings, symbolic accessoires and suggestions of movement. Van Dyck made his sitters seem once grand and alive, inaugurating a style of formal portraiture that is still emulated today. Van Dyck's elegant likenesses were sought eagerly in the Low Countries as well as in Italy and England, where he was knighted. Not only the color Van Dyck brown is named after him, but also the style of facial hair. A Van Dyck specifically consists of any growth of both a mustache and a goatee, with all hair on the cheeks shaven. But also Van Dyck is the name giver of a photographic printing process. His mythological and religious scenes were also greatly admired and profoundly influenced later generations of artists. Like for example the following painting, Samson and Delilah, which we will analyze in this video. Painted somewhere in between 1628 and 1630, it is currently hanging in the Kunsthistorische Museum in Vienna. Samson, the Israelite hero with superhuman strength, a kind of biblical Hercules, is portrayed at the moment of betrayal by his mistress Delilah. Hoping to capture him, the Philistine leaders each offered Delilah a sum of money to collaborate with them in a scheme to uncover the secret of Samson's great strength. Using her powers of seduction and deception, Delilah persistently wore down Samson with her repeated requests until he finally divulged the crucial information his long hair and beard. Samson makes love to Delilah and falls asleep in her lap. In the night Delilah shaves off Samson's long hair. Subdued and weak, at this moment soldiers burst in to capture Samson. Rather than killing him, the Philistines preferred to humiliate him by gouging out his eyes and subjecting him to hard labor in Gaza prison. As he slaved at grinding grain, his hair began to grow, but the careless Philistines paid no attention. During a sacrificial ritual, the Philistines had gathered in Gaza to celebrate, as was their custom paraded their prized prisoner into the temple to entertain the cheering crowds. Samson braced himself between the two central support pillars of the temple and pushed with all his might. Down came the temple, killing Samson and all of the people in it. This painting portrays the moment of greatest drama. It is full of action a masterpiece of energy, excitement, a tour de force, full of passionate glances, expressive gestures and muscles, but very organized. This large canvas is six feet across, and one has to look at it from one end to another. It is here on the left side, where the climax of the action is happening, and the colors are strongest. Here is where the strobe lights are shining, and the tense motion finds its focus. There is a deliberate imbalance between these lovers. The tension is ambiguous, her gestures can be interpreted in many ways. She falls back yet is reaching outward to touch Samson. He is defeated, but yet unwilling to leave her, despite her treachery. 
Samson's other hand expresses his impotent frustration, and Delilah mirrors his fist with her other hand, clutching the silky cloth of the bed. Samson stares at her with sorrow and disbelief. The soldiers around him form a wide arch. It begins with the lower right end of the picture and ends with the soldier in the blue cloak. A nice S shape there. In this picture, the arms are telling the story. It is a rhythm, beginning with the arms of Delilah, moving into the arms of Samson to his fist, and through the soldier's arms, curling back and finally ending with the soldier drawing a sword. Samson's portrait is framed by a particularly menacing soldier. His helmet shows a beautiful, grotesque monster crawling behind Samson. The soldiers form a trio of pure color, blue, red and yellow. The yellow soldier is Delilah's mirror image. He stands in the same position as Delilah. He represents force and Delilah represents the weak, the soft and the erotic. This picture is full of contrasts, layer upon layer echoing each other in a very well-balanced pattern, like the silky red material and the hard, cold, violent steel of the soldiers. What beautiful painting skills! And that nice short side of Samson's muscular body, excellent anatomy. The picture is also riddled and full of little details, like the scissors and hair beside the bed. The lap dog, the weapons and ropes, a variety of sweeping curves. We are also fully aware of the bright red soldier, although we can barely see him just his hands, but we instinctively feel how he jumps forward to grab Samson's neck. The picture is divided in three parts, and we can clearly see the usual compositional lines and structure behind the figures. These lines appear in most of the great masters. And the last contrast and detail is the old woman hiding behind Delilah in the upper left corner. She represents the dark side of Delilah, maybe her future, the sin that has been brought upon Samson. Van Dyck portrays beauty and passion, yet warns us of its consequences.